there is such a super project in China with an investment of trillions and a planning time of 50 years, which will benefit 400 million Chinese people after completion. This is the famous South to North Water Diversion Project. The construction of this project has freed many areas in China from the problem of water shortage. As the greatest project in China, how difficult is the construction of the South to North Water Diversion Project? Hanjiang to Weha River Water Transfers Project As we all know, China has 9.6 million square kilometers of land. The land is divided into north and south, and the climate is also different. Because of the environment and geographical location, the distribution of water resources is extremely unbalanced, resulting in a situation of flooding in the south and drought in the north. For the Guangzhou and northern Shaanxi regions in China, the lack of water has caused a lot of inconvenience to residents. In order to maintain their daily lives, local residents can only exploit groundwater sources, but this has caused a large number of road surface subsidence problems. In order to completely change this situation, China has proposed the South to North Water Diversion Project, and Hanjiang to Weha River Water Transfers Project is an important part of the South to North Water Transfer Project. The construction of this project is to introduce the water source of the Han River into the Weha River. The scale of water diversion will reach 1.5 billion cubic meters. At that time, the water source will be converged in Xi'an, Baoji, Weinan and other urban areas, and the population involved will reach more than 30 million. More importantly, the construction of Hanjiang to Weha River Water Transfers Project will completely change the status quo of groundwater exploitation in Guangzhou area, which is of great significance to environmental protection and prevention of geological disasters. From this point of view, Hanjiang to Weha River Water Transfers is a veritable project of benefiting the people. However, the construction difficulty of this project is the greatest among all water diversion projects in China. Just before the construction, some Chinese engineers once said that the difficulty of this project can be called the first in the world. First of all, the construction of Hanjiang to Weha River Water Transfers Project will cross the Yangtze River and the Yellow River and also pass through many tunnels in the Qinling Mountains. The Qinling Mountains is the dividing line between the north and the south of China. It is one of the ten major mountain ranges in the world. The mountains are steep and the environment is harsh. Secondly, in order to allow the Han River to flow into the Weha River, it is necessary to open up the Qinling Mountains. The maximum depth of the Qinling Tunnel has reached more than 2,000 meters, and there are rock bursts and water gushing in it. A little carelessness will seriously threaten the life safety of the construction personnel. Faced with all kinds of difficulties, Chinese engineers were still moving forward bravely to challenge the miracle of mankind, because this was the first super project for human beings to dig through the Qinling Tunnel. After preliminary planning and verification, Hanjiang to Weha River Water Transfers Project was formally constructed in 2014. When the excavation started, Chinese engineers discovered that the geological structure inside the Qinling Mountains was complex and the rocks were so hard that it was impossible to excavate it with ordinary construction equipment. In order to overcome this problem, engineers directly moved the shield machine to the Qinling Mountains, laying a solid foundation for the excavation of the tunnel. In addition, when the tunnel was opened, many unexpected accidents such as water seepage and landslides were encountered. In order to allow the people in Shangxi to drink water from the Han River as soon as possible, the engineering staff worked in 12-hour shifts. 
In such a difficult environment, Chinese engineers took eight years and finally successfully opened the Qinling Water Conveyance Tunnel in February 2022 and also set a number of world records. The progress of the project shows that by 2030, the water diversion volume of Hanjiang to Weha River Water Transfers Project will reach 3 billion cubic meters, which will completely solve the current situation of water shortage in Shangxi. The Hongqi River project diverts Tibetan water into Xinjiang. In addition to Hanjiang to Weha River Water Transfers Project, China is also preparing to invest 4 trillion renminbi in the construction of the Hongqi River project diverts Tibetan water into Xinjiang, which is expected to be completed within 10 years. Simply put, the Hongqi River project is to build a 6,188-kilometer super canal, almost the length of the Yangtze River. The starting point is at the big bend of the Yarlung Zhangbo River with the most abundant water resources, which is the southern foot of the Himalayas, and the water level can reach 2,558 meters above sea level. Taking advantage of this geographical advantage, the river water can fully realize the whole process of autonomous water diversion and through tunnels, dams, and reservoirs, all the way through the New River, Lantsang River, Jinsha River, Yalong River, and other rivers, and finally send the water source to Xinjiang and other northwest regions. This project is also an indispensable and important link in the South to North Water Transfer Project. The construction of Hongqi River Project will completely solve the problem of water shortage in western China. The Hongqi River Project requires water from the Yarlung Zhangbo River region and through artificial methods, the water source from Tibet is directly introduced into the Xinjiang region. But these two regions are blocked by the Himalayas. If this project is to be implemented, it must first dig through the Himalayas, then take water from the Yarlung Zhangbo River, pass through Inner Mongolia, Ningxia and other areas on the way, and finally reach Kashgar and Hotan in Xinjiang. From the perspective of construction speed alone, Hongqi River Project is by far the project that has invested the most manpower, cost the most money, and has the longest construction route. Chinese experts have estimated that the cost of Hongqi River Project will reach 4 trillion renminbi, which is more than the other projects of South to North Water Transfer Project combined. 4 trillion RMB is just an estimated fund, and the implementation of the project may be more than that. In addition to funds, many practical problems also need Chinese engineers to overcome one by one. First of all, the Himalayas are the highest mountains in the world. The temperature here is low, and it is called a restricted area for human beings. The length of the two mountain ranges in the east and west reaches more than 2,000 kilometers. Secondly, the Himalayas belong to the earthquake fault zone, and any inadvertent construction here will threaten the lives of construction workers. However, after the construction of Hongqi River project is completed, it will radiate the entire northwest region. In 2017, Hongqi River Project diverts Tibetan water into Xinjiang had been approved. When the project was ready to start construction, the Indians strongly opposed it and obstructed the project. This was because both the Ganges River in India and the Brahmaputra River in China originate from the Himalayas. Most of the residents in India depend on the water source of the Ganges River for their lives. They were afraid of the water upstream and it will be gone before reaching India. But in fact, China plans to divert only 20% of the total water with little impact on the downstream. China will not take the initiative to destroy India's water sources in the construction of watermaking projects. 
Having said that, if the Chinese build projects in their own homes, what qualifications does India have to dictate? According to data, Hongqi River project may be completed within 10 years, which will completely solve the problem of water shortage in western China. Therefore, in the long run, Hongqi River project will definitely be a super project that will benefit the present and benefit the future. The construction of this project will definitely leave a strong mark in the history of China's infrastructure. Do you think China can fully realize the super project of south to north water transfer? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.